Hello and welcome to a service video for Motor Scrubber how to change a switch. The tools needed to change the switch is some side cutters and crimps to put on the uh, bullet connectors on the switch. Okay, so in this packet is a, a replacement switch and inside here, I'll just open this up, you've got the new stronger switch which has got a blue casing okay and you can feel it's got a stronger latching mechanism so this should fully fix any switch problem and inside here you have two bullet connectors an o-ring and a nut uh, we don't actually need this one here okay so <clears throat> the first thing to do very simply just pull off the uh, the grip on top of the handle so hold on to the aluminium give this a twist it's meant to be a little bit tight and I'll explain why in a moment you don't want the grip easily pulling off but there's this plastic cap inside there so just make sure you take this out sometimes it can be stuck inside here so you can just squeeze the tube and bang it out and then put that to one side along with the grip okay so uh, the next step to do is pull the switch housing out like so and I just slot this down this slot here so that it takes the tension off the coil and you can work easily on the switch so first thing to do is I uh, want to cut off the wires from the back of the old switch just to make it easy to to unscrew out so if we just have a look at which wires come off the switch and just cut them just find the next wire and cut that as well okay and then you can grab hold of the switch and you can actually easily unscrew it Once it's unscrewed, the old switch will come out and just, that can be thrown away. You don't need this one as well because the new switch comes with a nut. Get the new switch and get the black o-ring. Slot that onto the switch. This just acts as a spacer to space the switch out and give you a bit more room. Slot in the wires like so. Get the nut over the wires. The knot wants to rest in that little recess. And we're now going to screw in the new switch into that nut. Because of the wires, you just need to twist the switch and screw it onto the nut and push the wires around each time you do it. Can be a little bit fiddly because you've got the wires on but you'll see why we send you the switch with the wires on because it makes connecting the cables a lot easier in a couple of minutes if you had to put the wires on the switch afterwards you'd have to solder them on which uh, is quite difficult okay so once the switch is is nice and tight which that is, that's fully, fully in position now. Just push the wires up so that they're sticking up with these cables here. So your switch is now in place, you just need to connect the wires. If you undo these wires which you cut earlier, you'll find the, uh, the two cables there. And basically you just need to connect these together. It doesn't matter which which one you connect to which because they're all live, they're all switched live. So you just need to trim off the insulation. Off the, um, off the cable. 
like so. Put the bullet connector over. On your connectors, you've got different colours, red, blue, yellow, obviously blue for blue. Crimp that on there like that. Crimp that on there like so. Just check you've got plenty of wire showing <clears throat> on the switch wires. I tend to like about 10 millimeters so that you get the best connection. So they need a little bit more. Twist them up so that they're uh, nice and compact. And just easily connect them like so. And that's it, you're all done. You can slide it back into the housing. So just line that up. Slide it down, make sure the uh, cables go inside the aluminium tube. Make sure you don't, just be careful not to catch anything on there so it pulls it off. <clears throat> so slide that down. So it's all the way down to the bottom. Tuck in the electrical cables inside the top of the aluminium tube. And this plastic cap is important. This stops the, uh, the grip pulling off as easily. So um, you just put that into the top so it's in place like that and then get the grip push that on, make sure everything goes inside. It's easiest if you push it from the top. And there you go, that's now finished with your new switch. Thank you.